Yo, what's up, y'all? On this episode, we got comedian Matt Lipton. Uh, we talk about compromising 50-50 exchanges and sometimes how um, our own inability to, to stand up and aggressively go at our goals uh, holds us back. Yeah. Um, and also just the definition of compromise and how we've been looking at it wrong the whole time. Dante yeah. pointed that out to me. Um, also, don't forget... Anything you can do to help us out, the best thing, best way to help us out is uh, the patreon.com slash manschool202. Sign up for that, dog. We do bonus content and uh, and we do, you guys have to f- direct reflection on me for questions when you send and it. And we answer through. listener mail from all the, yeah. the Patreons. So go to patreon.com slash manschool202 and it helps us out a lot. It keeps the show going. So please support us. I'm not an alpha male, I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's up? GYBB gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Uh, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good yeah. feeling. Um, how you feeling? How you I'm ready to rock and roll? God damn it. We got a I'm good guest today. My man, this is my dude. Uh... Yeah, I mean, everybody that comes on the show pretty much I, I, I'm friends with, but um, really kind of mellow, kind of cool dude I've always liked. Um, very funny dude, comedian, done all a bunch of shit. Uh, give it up for Matt Lipton, y'all. Give it up for Matt. Matt Lipton. Thank you. What's up, Thank baby? You, hey, bud. Hey, thanks for having me. This Yo, is a lot of fun. I, I, you know, I couldn't believe that I had not asked you. That's what's crazy. But I've been hiding he, in my house for the last two years. But I haven't you ne- left. You didn't come on. You never did it here with, with, Greer. with Greer. I was with Greer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Okay. I forget what we talked about because it feels like it was 10 years ago. It might have been. We've been doing the show for about nine. Yeah. Eight, it's a while. Nine, yeah. It was probably a couple years back, two or three years yeah, back. Yeah, I think yeah. they might have It was just, four. Yeah. Maybe it was like four. I lose track of that stuff, dude, because we do so many of these shows. I have no idea. I never remember. We just keep chugging along, saving lives, man. What's going, what's going on with you, baby? Nothing, man. Literally have not left my house for two years. Uh, I've just, I've kept it inside. I'm like really? indoor camping at this point. You, but you're, you're like a kind of out there dude, no? I used to be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like this, once February hit, it really fucked me up. I was just like, I'm, then I'm not, if this is plague, I'm not leaving my house. Yeah. So I really, I've been trying to work from home as much as possible, but like that's, that's it. You writing for somebody, or you just no, just doing shows and stuff. Just, I was I was doing shows, not anymore. Yeah, I yeah. did I did a couple shows like a few months ago. But right. oh, so you still been even after the low? Or, you went back under. Yeah, I didn't because wow. I, I don't like it. I yeah. really don't like it. I don't like uh, I don't like the the attitude that people have. Uh, this kind of I don't need to wear a mask, and it's my personal choice. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I feel you. I feel you. That's that's crazy because, you know, it, it there's a whole cultural thing. It, it's become this whole cultural thing where I don't, I don't know if it would be the same. I I kind of feel like people would still be kind of talking the same bullshit either way. What do you mean? Just In what circumstances? About, you know about mask and I mean they, I've yeah. saw I've saw documentaries and stuff where people are talking about the the Spanish flu in the time where people right. were doing this thing the anti mask like yeah. you know fuck this it's it's a it's fake it's this that and the other I mean I personally lost about eleven people you know like directly connected to me not like friends of a friend it's a lot it's a lot of people it's a lot of people it's a lot of people and I, I've known people who haven't lost anybody mm-hmm. as well uh, but um, am, am I? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hold on. Uh, I, I I feel like I'm being uh, heard a through a through a different through somebody else's mic. Is that what it is? Hold on. Yeah. Tap your mic, Quincy. I'm not up. You're not up. Well, your mic is not up. No. What is going on? Oh, hold on. One second. One second. One second. Let me see what this is over here. Bear with me. Uh. Yeah, it's not popping up. You're right. It's not popping up. So one second. Oh, that's tapping out. Yeah, not so. Yeah, now it's up. Why? But it didn't do that before. The fuck is that about? All right, talk now. Testing one, two. Now you can hear better. Yeah, right. I don't know. Test I don't know test. if they heard anything that I. I mean, do y'all uh, heard me though, right? In the headphones. And then it stopped. 
Uh, did you not hear anything? No, oh. I heard stuff, but, and then and then it sounded like you weren't. When you said like, "Why can't I hear me?" Yeah, it's yeah. It's just it wasn't there anymore. Okay. That's weird. All right, hold on. Let's, you want to start over? I mean, we only did five. You know, like yeah, it's like five minutes. I mean, if you gotta cut it, you can cut it. Whatever. Okay, if, not, okay. if it's in, we whatever. All right, hold on. Bum, bum, bum. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Bum, bum. There we go. All right, let's try that. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sorry yeah, about I'm that. Good. Yeah, it was odd. Yeah. yeah, um... You don't know how people would be different how when you're saying I, that. Like, thing. I don't... Like, when you look at this historically, when you look at this historically, the same things have happened. People have acted in the same ways throughout time. Like, nothing changes. Like, people didn't want to... Yeah. You know, people didn't believe this. At the, you know what I mean? People. Yeah. Spanish is it to the flu. same level, though. You think? I don't know, dog. I mean, we we always think that we're unique in 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 the way things are operating, and and then some. At some point in time, we look back in history and it's you go, all the same. "Oh, they've yeah, been yeah. doing this shit." Like this is. Yeah, this, anti anti vax stuff, like propaganda from like not even Spanish flu, like. Uh, smallpox, mm. the anti-vax cartoons that came out are reminiscent of what yeah. is happening now. So yeah, it's which, just, it's and like you know, a, you know the history of vaxing. What you, do you know what it is? I've been reading a lot of stuff. I've had nothing I mean, but free not, time of my not, head. Not, not, not. I mean, but where they actually got it from? It was a, there was a tribe in Africa mm. that would take a weaker form of 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 uh bacteria or viruses and they would uh mm. take like a uh spike uh, thorns and scratch the skin with the thorn to, so that you get to build up the immune system they were doing that in africa and mm. uh, i guess whoever the guy what the guy that um came back and actually you know whoever i, I forget the guy's Not name Salt. the virus dude the dude that inoculation, he, but he initially got it from an African tribe that was doing it with spikes, and mm-hmm. uh, and bacteria just just infecting people on a on a with a loosened, a, a weakened uh, form of whatever the disease was. Edward Jenner. Yeah, but he there we saw go. it from an he got it from this African tribe. Or it was whatever. In 1796. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. <laughs> It it, we, we, it it becomes this kind of cultural thing. I think the, the problem is it's become a cultural thing, but I don't know if it hasn't been. I mean, since the beginning of the time, people have, you know, people have argued on opposite ends of the, there's always been stupid people. There's always been people mm. who are on the wrong side of history. In, fa- in fact, as far as this country is concerned, we're always on the wrong side. What's that <laughs> quote that you, you go, what we, you know, you America will tr- do the right thing. You can always trust America to do the right yeah. thing after they've exhausted every other option. Every other option. I think and Winston Churchill said that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you find this over and over again, and that we. It's amazing how people don't learn from the mistakes. Well, it's interesting. I, I, I do think that we have set up uh, after decades of defunding education. Yeah. Um, and making it very difficult for people financially to get education. Not teaching civics. Not teaching, yeah, yeah that type of yeah. stuff is yeah, civics, morality. Um, I do think you have a dumber, uh, oh, a dumber I, pool of people that are easily uh, susceptible. I mean, dumber is relative, dog. I mean, think about the things that people thought, you know, in the fifties, and th- things that people thought in the twenties. You know, I mean, just every into, bad idea that has ever plagued humanity today plague is a good word was thought up <laughs> in the 1800s yeah that's it's and they've never died yeah flat earth for example mm, and yeah. i'm convinced that flat earthers are the bane of our existence they're you, they're the people that don't want to wear masks and believe all well, sorts well yeah the odds shit. are yeah the odds are you're not the odds are you're not a flat earther but you do believe in right the, the yeah. vaccine yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd have to be like, hey, hey, uh, flat, hey, I believe the earth is flat, but I'm not fucking well, I'm, unreasonable. On, I'm not no fucking moron. Uh, I believe in medical science. <laughs> yeah. Uh, NASA uh, is a lie. Yeah, but yeah. everything else. But everything and, else you know. I'm down with. Yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting kind of, it just, I think it has a lot to do with reality TV. I believe Jerry Springer is the fault of it. Jerry Springer and Maury Povich. The fact that they, I've said this to you before, mm. that all the actors, they come in. The, the fact that we look at, we watch, we grew up on Honey Boo Boo 
and and that this is something to watch when it's all scripted and the fact that we know it's a lie professional wrestling people used to think that that was real that was real yeah. i mean and so i think well, we've always looked at stuff wanted to believe stuff that without any on faith and also it's shocking freud you want to see someone suffer yeah you know yeah i agree i i but i think it's almost like we we just don't um like the flat earthers one of the one of the things that i was talking to this guy uh the psychiatrist i know and he was saying one of the things about the flat earthers what has happened is because um science as when when science were was progressing we were in a situation where we could visibly see science happening so if you do a structure like a you know how we did with the eye beams and the structures to make things stronger and so on and so forth this was a visible outcome that you didn't have to be a theoretical physicist to understand what was the, the concepts of that and now science is beyond the concept of the of the layman do you know what i mean like you can't you, like if you try to explain to somebody dark matter or string theory or or any of those things you these are concepts beyond the layman's thinking and so because i think we are so used to saying okay there are infections we don't see these things we give them penicillins it kills the infection it's a direct kind of thing that they could see and now science has gone beyond con our conceivable conceptions of it as laymen like you got to be deeper in you know right but at the same time i accept the fact that there are things that i will never understand right. and can't understand because i'm stupid right you know I like i'm not Suzanne. i'm not a viral i'm not a viral a virologist. virologist yeah a virologist. i can't even say the word yeah you know? so but, but you don't then pretend don't that because you don't understand it it doesn't it right ceases to exist as a, a thing that it must be a lie right like, but yeah. i also think you can make I'm not a, that arrogant you know even though i don't know i'm not willing to follow anything either it, it, it to a certain it's a funny balance when you think about it you it's still got to make sense to you even with your limited understanding of of, and I, and I say we could all it could all be bullshit, you know. I, I'm not like you said. I'm not a virologist, and it could all be bullshit. But I, you know, how do I, you know, you 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 give uh, inoculate kids to go to school? Yeah, we trust that. We trust this. I mean, there's situations. It's not like the government is. Is has not lied to the people at any given time. Um, we know that's the case, and so not trusting them is it makes sense. Um, I always said that even with the vaccines and stuff, the thing that what what made me make my decision to get vaxxed was Denmark. Like they like Denmark gives a fuck about their people, and they were <laughs> vaxxed. I was like, oh, well, all right, that makes sense. Yeah. And the fact that it's universally, globally, and universally, I go, yeah. The I, fact that it, to me, the big thing was that it's uh, they were doing it in Europe, yeah, right. So yeah. that put me at ease because I don't believe in like a worldwide global conspiracy because we can't even right now. If they were doing it in Europe, if they were doing it, have, if they were doing it yeah. only in Scotland and England was <laughs> like fuck you, yeah. But then I would go, yeah, maybe that might be a thing. But the fact that everybody is is on board makes me go i i don't know i mean uh, one of the things that i do think is is the case is that the machine has to keep turning people got to get up go yeah, to man. work come home die get funerals uh have babies and live, Just and live. live. yeah like go to the grocery store no yeah. do something normal yeah, you know? I, I mean, you know, this is what, and even with the shutdown, I like if you think about like like if you have a bacon and egg sandwich in the morning. I mean, how many bacon and egg sandwiches do they sell every morning when everybody goes to work? And the minute people stay home and sleep late because they've shut down, pork bellies go th through the basement, my friend. You can't get bacon and eggs and cheese bagels. And shit, all of those uh, tradable products. So when you when you understand it, it, it is to the benefit of evil rich people to keep us on the hamster wheel. N things being so severe that you stop the hamster wheel 
it makes you go, I, I, uh, this can't be yeah. a global conspiracy. Yeah, this must be, there yeah, must yeah. be something wrong. Yeah. Cause you're, you're cutting your own throat. Yeah. You're cutting your own money. Who does this benefit? Well, yeah. no one, right, right, no one wants right. to shut down, but we can't have people dying in the street. Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. It's just, it's not fun. You got a girl, Matt? Nope. No, nah, what's nope. the last time you had a girl? Oh, oh God. Long time. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Just kind of hooking up or just not even. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nothing serious. I can't keep. I can't keep anything serious. No. Not in a good place, man. You know? In what sense? What do you feel? Just in general. You know, just especially now. You saying because of this or just in general? Or how, Before, why, why in general? Even now. Why in general? I don't know, man. You know, you were talking about depression earlier. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah that's it's a real thing, you know, yeah. and you get into a hole and you stay there. And like, I don't want to be with me. Why would someone else want to, you know? And that's that's a mindset, but you have to get out of it. You know, it's like yeah. anything else. I have um, a feeling. I am. Um, it, it's yeah. a, it's you, a funny thing with Matt. With Matt. Like, Matt, um, it, it's a weird thing. Like, I've watched Matt grow on stage, uh, like, a lot. And uh, and it was like, and I think, to, to be honest, it was a certain, I, and I think this kind of hurt you to a certain degree because you and Greer were so tight mm -hmm. and Greer would vouch for you a lot. And because of that, I don't think that people, um, I think people were harsher on you because oh, of that. Yeah. And I, and I, I get that because I kind of went through the same thing with Patrice. Like, that was a whole, you know, just getting out of that, yeah, that shadow. But I mean, I think you were also a young dude, and you got opportunities that maybe you wouldn't have got if you were weren't with Greer. And because of that, maybe you yeah, weren't man. as. I also, you know, I also barked. I managed a club. Yeah, like it's not like I didn't. It's not like I showed up one day. Yeah, yeah, to be a yeah. Canadian. But I think that people kind of felt that way because because you were so tight with Greer. Sure. And it's weird how that perception and stuff. And I remember watching you, and I was like, man, this dude's funny. Do you know what I mean? Like that, and I don't mean it in a yeah. Sense, but it's kind of that moment. Like I, I think that everybody kind of goes through that where where you're doing something that you're doing, and then the the the, the class up goes, oh. Oh, okay, you're really one of us. You right. know what I mean? There's a moment where, whereas I feel like that's not the case anymore. Like, it's just so. I don't know what, like, just in, in terms of just everything in general, like, I don't know what's going on yeah. in terms of comedy or like what, like. Socially, if, socially, yeah, If really. we're going to have, if we're going to have stand up live shows. Like I mean, we, we shut are. Down again. We, yeah, we might. We might. I mean, I think that's possible. But I mean, I think I think we'll come out of it. I mean, what is, what is that thing, Harry? This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Sure. The you know. clip. Sure, but in the it's just in the interim. Yeah, you know, they're talking about with basketball that if they're they're trying to get they're trying to get to Christmas Day for the five uh, for the five, five games, yeah. and then if they shut down for ten days, they shut down for twenty days because yeah. everyone breaks the bubble, and now. You gotta start the. You gotta start this all over again. You a big ball guy? No. You what? No. No, man. I just you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm. It's almost also interesting. Like, say for instance, they get to the playoffs. The playoffs get there, and then people are sharp and they're ready, and then it shuts down, and then you're. You, you can't even predict. You know what I mean? Because it's such a. They're playing at such a high level, and they're so ready at that moment. Can you imagine, like, a 30-day uh, a break, and then they have to play the playoffs at the end? Like, you wouldn't know how that's going to turn. Yeah. Like, the, 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 as a variable, it changes the, the mind, the mindset of people in such a way. Um, man, I remember just feeling, uh, I don't know if this affected me as much as it did everybody else. I mean, because I, I just had my son and I was so, you know, it was just all about him and I didn't want to be out anyway because I didn't want to bring nothing home. But, um, yeah, it was, it was, I, I'll tell you the first thing that really, um, bothered me. A good friend of mine, lifelong friend of mine, uh, my mom actually raised him as a kid, lived across the street and he had a kid and his kid was like around, two and he you know this block my block is a very family oriented it's families that have been on this block i noticed yeah <laughs> um and uh i couldn't play fight with this kid you know what i mean like right. this is part of his indoctrination into this block would be wrestling with me and pay, me picking him up and chasing him and we would do that with each other's kids and stuff right. and each other's nephews and nieces and stuff and 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 that was something that just 
wasn't even a, couldn't even be a thing couldn't even could not even be a thing to the point where i i i had, i've never touched his son right do you know what i mean yeah like, yeah i've never and then you know and it sounds kind of creepy but i mean i've never even helped pick him up or threw, tossed him in the air or nothing like that I've right never done that, like normal that. social things yeah yeah I, it's it's just so not the case and it's, his son's like five now mm-hmm. and i've still never Touched his son, and, never be, and I mean, I was I was that guy that on the block I would play with the kids and fucking toss them around and fuck. Never even, you know, it's a weird, weird, weird kind of thing. And how you realize that that the the, the whole new normal is so different, you know. The the majority of my family has not even met my niece. Wow, how old is your niece? Because of this one. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. I barely see my nephew, who's three. Yeah, but like. Thank God for th- for FaceTime. Yeah. You know? Is there something that prompts it for you to be th- this what? level of like... Some people are less uh, secure about it or worried about it. Depression, is there something like mean? a sick... Oh, I'm, I was thought we were talking about the lockdown. I apologize. Yeah, oh, yeah, the lo- yeah, yeah, oh yeah. lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning like you haven't seen the, your niece and all that. that it's, just like a, it's just like a compounding thing. Like you, it's just to see a family member is now... Like there's a worry that I might be... <clears throat> that I might be sick. Yeah. And get someone sick. Yeah. 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 Well, fair enough. From yeah. doing something that's supposed to be normal. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's just not uh it's not good. It's not well good. fair enough. Oh, let's get let's get in some relationship stuff. Yeah. Right? yeah. Just uh, to throw it out there. But you, you said you weren't you don't feel like you're ready. Is there something that led you to like feel like you weren't ready in past relationships or like how does it usually end no nah, it's just it's just where my life is in general yeah right now it's uh i don't want to say i'm focusing on me because i'm not <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just too lazy to have a relationship with someone you know yeah and that's that's basically where it goes it's like when when there's a bump in the road or there's some work that i have to put into it i'm like you know what i'll just stay home i don't need this yeah yeah. And that's not good. That's not healthy. Is that is that your take on it usually when it when it's rough or is it just the place that you're in now? I think more it's the place I'm in now. No. And I think I think if if you have bad experiences, you you get a little a little bitter. We're like, "Ah, oh, I'm not dealing with this again." Right, right. You know. But that's that's You grew up with both parents or no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we're from New York or I'm no? from Staten Island, man. Oh, okay. Wow, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody says that. I'm yeah. sorry. I usually have to apologize for yeah for uh for being a uh, for being in. Hey, Chris, you don't have to be silent. You can just say yeah. We're not. It's not like this is professional. Your hair looks pretty. It's all flowy and Janet Jackson type shit. Just yeah. Hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. It's all right, cool. Relax, Adam. It's not like this is a show going yeah, on. Yeah, it's not like this is a show. <laughs> I like it. It's very, you know, it's very casual. You know what I think? It's, that that's, It's like professional casual. I think that is why people listen to podcasts. More over than not, it's because they... Uh, they like that it's not. Profound. Yeah, it's it's rough. It's honest. Like I had a, I was talking about, not like uh like my son is in England, and I was talking about I was really transparent about that, and uh, I had a lot of people that called me up. I mean, man, it's just wow. Like that was really an open, an open wound that you were talking about. But I think when you do that, it, it uh, you you got to practice. You know what I'm saying? Even with stuff you're talking about. Um, not, you know, not giving a fuck or not, uh, like the, you have to move. Yeah. You, and, and like, it's like you just said, yeah. you just go home and you, you, you sit in it and then you can't, you feel like you can't get out of it. Yeah. It's the dark place. You go yeah. into a hole, yeah. you know, but sometimes you need to do that and yeah. it, you're not, yeah. it's like the, it's, it's like, Oh, I'm just working on me. I'm working on, no, you're not, yeah, you're yeah. not working on yourself. <laughs> You're sitting at home doing nothing. Yeah. I'm not. I can't lie to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Well, that's. But I mean, can, that's commendable. You, you can, can lie to other people. You can't. You lie can to make yourself. the decision to change that though if yeah. you want to work on yourself. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I commend I, people who do that. I'm just. I'm telling you, it's not me. <laughs> 
you know, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to Matt take is, away uh, from other people. As the world goes in Armageddon, Matt is like, I don't, I will not be volunteering for anything. Just so you guys know, I have no skills. Yeah. You oh, guys no. do what you gotta do. I'll be back here. Yeah. Greer and I decided that if there ever is an apocalypse, we're going straight to marauding. Like, <laughs> not prepping. We're, we're getting face masks. We're going to start raising hell. Marauding. I like that. Straight what defines marauding? marauding? What defines marauding? Because I don't uh, want to... robbing. Okay, there you butchering, go. Butchering, finding people that are preppers and taking their things. Okay, All right, let me ask you. You have a plan, more. though. This is what I uh, like. I mean, Matt, yeah. here's the big question: What about raping? I mean, are you in a, uh, I don't think I, you're a little socially. I don't think uh, you're socially uh, woke when it comes to the raping. You got you don't mind robbing, yeah. murder, marauding. No raping. No that's, raping. That's, that's, See, I don't the think problem. there's. You're a terrible there's, Viking. There's I feel not, like I feel like you. you, you, you can't just like your heart's not in it, Matt. You, know? you can't <laughs> just pillage. <laughs> I it's guess rape you, and you pillage. absolutely can't. You can be nice about it. That's true. You this know? is true. We're taking all of your food and leaving you to, go, to you die. Know what's interesting. What's interesting is that how it, it, it's good to hear how far we've come. Yeah. In the fact that we murder, fine. Yeah. Theft, we're still leaving people to die. Good rape. You hey, guys are hey going now. too far. Hey, hey now. now, I'll steal all your food and supplies, but I'm not an I'm not a monster. Not. <laughs> for God's sake, I'll kill you. We children. live in a society, yeah. guys. There are rules <laughs> you know? in place yeah. for this type of shit. I'm yeah. waiting for progressive racists. That's what I'm waiting for. People that are like very open minded about their racism. You know? that, that's here. That's actually that's here. here. You know yeah, mean? I know a couple can, of them. Matt, can I ask you, is it, you think part of your upbringing makes you that way to a degree? Because I know for me it affected, my upbringing affected my level of depression. Heavy. Holy shit. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. I don't think so. I spoke to my aunt recently and she said the, that depression runs in our family. Mm. Yeah. So I don't, like, you know what, man? I, it's, I look at it from that this is, this is a, this is a me problem and that I am part of the obstacle of that. And, you know. Like I said, I'm very lazy about. You go to therapy. Fixing. Do you go to therapy? No, man. No, you don't. You're even, too lazy to go I, to therapy. That, I, that, that involves go, getting up. You got to call the doctor. I'm going to whine to someone about my problems that yeah. I know I can fix yeah. that I won't. And yeah, that's someone true. to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm half Jewish, so yeah. right there, <laughs> right there, paying someone to deal with something that I could do myself that I refuse it. not to. Yeah. Come on. Doesn't even make sense. I, res even, I, I, I respect that. I, I couldn't I couldn't get up in the morning. Yeah. Even though I can't get up in the morning. Yeah. You know? I, I do respect his decision to go, I'm absolutely not gonna take the steps <laughs> to fix this. It would be like hiring a personal trainer and watching him do the movie. It'd be like, yeah. yo, show me that again. Show me that again. Yo, well, I'm, I gotta go. I got a, <laughs> I got a sandwich. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a donut while I'm on this stair mask. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you even that's too so much that's much too much difficult. easy. That's too much work. It just Getting on this thing. Just get the get uh Sean T's hip hop abs and just watch, just watch it. Watch it. Donut. Watch it. Eat donuts. You don't need to be on the like, treadmill. If you're going to do something, that guy serious. really fucking annoyed me. Sean T. Sean T. Why? Sean T. The hip hop abs. <laughs> what? He's got great abs. I don't know if you've seen Sean T's abs. Does Sean T. He's he's really gay, so he has to have abs. Not everyone. I've seen a lot of gay guys no abs. That's that's the thing of the past. Is it? Yeah, no, gay no. guys. Not all gay guys. It's. I guess it depends on divisions. Yeah, you can't. A bear, for example. A bear has no abs. No. Or a bear might have abs. Rarely. I no, I don't know if they're bear. If it's defined by even, just being hairy, I don't, I don't I think it's just do being it. big well, and hairy. I'm not even going to do I don't, it. I don't know this. I don't I'm know not even was. doing it. Not even getting involved? I don't, I don't, I'm just going to let me hang the, here. I'm going to have the conversation like I'm the expert. You and Matt want to talk about whether bears have abs. It's on you, Kyle. No judgment. I saw a headline for the New York Post. It said ex Versace model. Like, uh, looks like uh, credits his youthfulness to drinking his own urine, mm. right? And the guy looks like he does nothing but push ups and sit ups all day, mm. right? He's gray and shit, right? So it really, drinking piss makes you look really old. Yeah, it's probably know? not a great idea. No, I, I it think is they, not. A good I remember idea. Manny Pacquiao. Did Manny Pacquiao do that? Did he drink his own piss? I remember part of the training. Because I know he don't like the gays. I know that that he does not. He Pacquiao does, does not like the gays. He does not like the back, 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 back gays because. The God, God is the abomination. Yeah. <laughs> Pacquiao does not like the gay. But they used to say he would drink his own urine because uh, it, you'd flush out all the vitamins would come out in the urine 
And then somebody was just like, take, "Why don't you just get you're more a vitamins? Millionaire. Get a new, get a get a multi. You get another fucking vitamin. idiot. <laughs> well, you because when you take the multivitamins, you're pissing out vitamins because you can't absorb all the vitamins. So you, I guess, you're just saving money on vitamins by by drinking, by drinking your, your own. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not that cheap. You know what? Save money somewhere else. Yeah, is all I'm saying. Don't eat takeout, and Listen. then you don't have to drink your own piss. Yeah. I, look, I'm I am thirsty after <laughs> hanging up my twenty fur coats, and now I got to save money on piss. Oh boy! The no. Fuck? no, 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 no. I like that bong, man. It looks like a it looks like a lava lamp. Would you like some? No, thank no. you. I'm good okay. though. This is not really a bong. It's a puffco. Can you hold it up so people can see? Oh, I don't know what shit. the fuck yeah, this it is. is a, we are a visual medium here the, on the, the YouTube channel. The creme de la creme of. Of dab and extract, abstract. Uh, yeah, you're very high, so you can't say it is the irony because you've been pulling on that all day. Dabs and uh, yeah, crumble. And I did. Shit. I did a. I dabbed once. Some guy. I was in West Hollywood. We were at some dude's apartment, and uh, he pulls out what looks like a bong, and uh, then pulls and out a, a screen a, and then, a butane lamp. Then pulls out a blowtorch and yes. like is heating a titanium nail. Yeah. Oh, right? he does it on a nail. And then like just dabbed it. And I was like, on I a, was, will he dab it on the on a, on a screen? The ti- uh, no, on the titanium nail itself. Okay. Right? The earwax or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was so high after yeah. one hit, I was like pre paranoid. I'm like, yeah. yo, I'm gonna get paranoid. I need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. No, I can't I be around a, this. I did I'm a, a, I'm I did gonna a dab get upset. A, I did a dab in, in Canada at a weed spot. I was supposed to do a comedy show. I was with big it was me and Big J and uh I laid on the couch and I was like, uh they're not doing the show, are they? And he was like, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. doing it. I go, no, they're not. <laughs> they're not. I couldn't get out of the couch. He had to drive me home. I was did so, you not do the show? I did not do the show. Oh, wow. That's I was the first so, time. Is that the first time you've ever not just not done a wait, show? I was there and did not that do the show. Did, did, yeah, did, I was like, I, I can't do this. So. Jesus. And that's always what I'm worried about when I get high, that that is going to floor me and I'm not going to want to do anything. I don't know. But you don't want to do or, anything now, Matt. Uh, Right. So why would I want to do more stuff that makes me not do Again, shit? Again, the beauty of, beauty of Matt. No denial. No, I'm you're not, correct. Right. You are correct. I would love to interrogate Matt for a crime <laughs> if I was a police He's officer. like, you killed him. We know you were at the scene of the crime. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Officer. I was there. I was there. With bells on. I was, I'm an arsonist that goes by the name Matches. <laughs> yeah. Did you burn it down? Absolutely. Most definitely. That, most definitely. Yeah, that's, most definitely. that was uh, Patrice. That was Patrice. That's yeah, one of my favorite Arrested scenes from that show ever. From Arrested Development. He was Patrice was playing an inmate in the prison with uh, the father or whatever, Michael Michael Blue's father yeah, yeah. or whatever. He's a flamer. And then, uh, yeah, he kept calling him a flamer, and they didn't understand what it was. They thought it was like a gay <laughs> joke or whatever. <laughs> Turns out he was an arsonist. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so he burned out the, you know, the, the sun shows up, and the, the banana stand that they owned is burned down. Yeah. And the son's like aggressive, like, I know who did this or whatever. <laughs> and he goes to Patrice, he goes, did you burn down that banana stand? He's like, oh, most definitely. <laughs> like, without hesitation. <laughs> oh, most definitely. That was absolutely me. It was one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, I missed that dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking I, uh, bastard. Uh, what happened? Fucking bastard. Uh, I missed I that dude bastard. so much. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's been, what, 10 years? Has it been 10 years this year? Yeah, I think it was 10, 10 years, years this year. year. Yeah, yeah, the 10th ten anniversary yeah, of man. Patrice uh, passing away, unfortunately. And I still haven't done the benefit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. What did I do here? Here we go. Maybe next year it'll be your year. Maybe year I would, 11. I wouldn't do it. No? I wouldn't do it now. I think you should do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even do it. I mean, it not now. that you've been offered it, but it is ridiculous that you haven't done it. Yeah, they'll benefit. eventually offer it to me, and I won't do it. No. Right now, there's a comedian who's just starting their comedy career. Right now, right he's now gonna he's going to be doing it. He'll do it when I'm now. doing. When they ask me to do it, yeah, that's when. Three they, years from know. now, there are people who. Huh? That's that's well, that's the weird part about this fucking business, man. It's not righteous or correct. Okay, I, I don't. <laughs> Nothing is righteous and correct. No, but show business comedy. is significantly worse because yes. there's there's a there's a subjectivity to art or whatever. This is an art. Yeah. That you can just claim. That you you know with numbers with business there's only a certain amount of fuckery you could do before somebody catches on to the fact that you're not producing a product. I mean, wait a minute, sometimes... you're not a doctor, right? Yeah, I don't know. You I can don't... only amputate so many wrong arms, right? 
before yeah. somebody goes, yeah, you Doug, can't. I just watched. I watched. Well, you can thing. butcher set after Doug, set I after watched, set. I watched this. I watched this video the other day. This dude, uh, this cop who was beating up, beating up black folks. Mm-hmm. Ninety three complaints. Sure. Ninety three fucking complaints, and you're like. Pfft. Keep rocking. So keep rocking it up. 27 years, 93 complaints. 93 complaints and nothing. I mean, that's like a record. Yeah. That's like, it is a record. That's it, like some sort of, it's almost like a hallmark or an achievement. Well, so they give crazy. them a solid. If you get to 100, they give you like a bronze baton. <laughs> a, a, gold baton. Bit, a gold baton. A gold baton with like a little bit of blood. A little black boy gets yeah. his life back. Uh, <laughs> every time you get 100. A little blood and some curly hairs on the end of it, you know? Yeah. I mean, Every time up. a bell rings. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that yesterday. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. By the way, yeah. Great, yeah, great movie. You see everybody's doing all these videos on it, right? I sent you the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ben Shapiro one is the best one. He's a fucking idiot. He's a idiot. fucking idiot. He's at the end of the Ben Shapiro thing. He talks about how great It's a Wonderful Life is. And then he points out how the banker, the old man Potter, was, was a right great banker. He was right. He, he was going to stop subprime loans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. of course Ben Shapiro would side, would side with the villain. With the villain. In but, the, the, but the whole the, point is he's talking about how great the movie is. Yeah. yeah. He goes, this is a great movie. It's a great classic. Maybe the best movie of all time. And then he completely misses the whole point of the yeah. fucking movie. And yeah. Sam Cedar points out in the video, he goes, you know, the whole point of the movie is that we each contribute something to yeah, our lives yeah. and then maybe... Uh, and then as know, a collective... As a know, collective, we, we have something to offer. Look and then maybe look. in spite of our low credit scores. <laughs> the movie shouldn't exist. It's right? a wonderful it's, life shouldn't exist? It's before its time. And the reason I say that is because mm-hmm. three quarters of the movie is exposition. Right? Yeah. It's and a, it is a slow burn until you get to the end of the movie. But this is what makes it so good. In fact, in its when it was released, it was a financial flop. Really? And did not become a cult film until it until the copyright expired and TBS bought it and started, started running. putting it on, on the marathon. And it became a cult classic. Is that true? Jeez, man. Yeah, I didn't, TB, so that would have been the 80s. TBS doesn't exist until the 80s then. I'm not sure of the timeline, but it can't yeah. be more than the late seventies, maybe. I'm sure I, it might be yeah. TBS. It's whoever runs it. Right? Yeah, I won't, I won't. but it was a it was a flop, and it like when, when to say that it's before its time, it was never its time. Movies like this don't they don't make them like it because there's too much exposition and people hate exposition. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. You know? Yeah, that's interesting. but it's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite films. Like you're, you go on a journey through this man's life. You see how wonderful it is, the the ups and the downs. Sure, yeah. And then you're hit with this. He kills himself. He's gonna it kill himself. It does get dark real quick. Yeah, it does. And then take we a get right to, turn. and then we get to see like all all the lives that this guy touched and how things would have been a dystopia if this guy wasn't alive. Well, the whole town would have been fucked. Up. Right. Oh, this Potterville. sounds. This sounds like my my life story. Yeah. <laughs> Well, a lot of things would be yeah. fucked up if, if you weren't around. Yeah, well. I'd be in a shitty relationship right now. Yeah. Uh, Millions of people yeah. wouldn't wouldn't get life advice, yeah. Dante. You might a not even of, have. Yeah. You might not even have Greer. Greer, Greer was so. Drunk. I might not be here. Greer, Greer was so drunk one time. Came out of the, He came out. Well, I mean, Chris drunk all the time. But Greer, well, one time he was exceptionally he was, drunk. Except, he was doing the... Uh, the one time where you're saying Greer is drunk yeah. is, must be the most exceptional. Well, he he was doing that thing you ever see in uh, Tom and Jerry when a dude gets hit in the head with a hammer yeah. and he does the, the birds. He starts dude, circling twink, and twink, walking twink, around twink. in a circle. He's standing it still in the bird. You can yeah, see yeah. the birds. I'm like, where are you going? He goes, uh, uptown. I go... <laughs> Where hundred? What thing was he? Hundred forty fifth, hundred something. something like that. Yeah, I'm I'm on my motorcycle. I go get on. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps on. I go. He goes so well, like well. Prince in Purple Rain, and he was at Polonia. <laughs> you put him on the back of the bicycle. I, I, he wanted um, to bicycle, swim in the lake Katanqua, uh, <laughs> in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Katan- Minnetonka. Lake Minnetonka. He goes, so he jumps on. He goes, well, I keep my hand. You got to hold me. Cause you got to hold on, yeah. So he holds me. He grabs me around my waist. And then, um, and I'm, you know, he fucking, I put it in, I strapped the helmet on him, right? <laughs> he's, he's, it's kind of on the side because he's drunk as shit. Um, and he wraps his arms around me. And then we get on the highway. I'm doing like a buck. Like a, in between 80 and 100 trying to get him home. Oh, jeez. But we on a straightaway. And all of a sudden, I feel weight 
on me, right? He fucking Greer falls asleep oh. on the bike. Oh my oh, god! He's asleep on the black bike, <laughs> just knocked out. But he's holding on. But he's he's definitely. I can feel his body go limp. And he I'm was home. really comfortable. Oh, That's yeah. he started yeah. snoring you know. on your back. He's just snoring. And I, oh. We pull up. I mean, Get dude, up. Dante, that's love. <laughs> it is love. That's love. So you saved Greer's life. He always talks about how, how my back is extremely comfortable. Just, <laughs> I mean, now that now that you mention it, it does look comfortable. It does I've look seen, like I've seen you yeah. from the back. That's nice. You're a handsome Warm. man. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> it's rounded. You know, took him at, got a, took the helmet off, going inside. <laughs> Greer's a maniac. Greer's a maniac. Jesus. Oh, uh, I um, I was uh, we were um. Me and Harry were talking about this thing. Uh, we we're talking about compromise. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Interesting. It's been every once in a while I'll have something in my mind, um, and it'll it'll hit me because I'm always kind of moved. The, the, I'm always trying to move the needle, and uh, and I was uh, we were talking about like those old movies and stuff and how the the whole thing was. Um, you know, we've t- been taught that in relationships. You make compromise, right? You make right. compromise, and um, and uh, and and Harry was saying that you know that's kind of how he was. He grew, like you were saying that's yeah. how you grew up. You make compromise. That's the perspective of of marriage that I had was yeah, well. This. One thing was compromise, which I think we and we'll talk about it. We established that the the definition of compromise we're not using properly, right? Right. Or, well, well, that we're expecting was... it. But the other thing was I always thought growing up that marriage was like a fifty fifty partnership. Right. That everything was fifty fifty, and I, as I've gotten older, I realize it is not fifty fifty. Well, well, yeah, I mean, like, I think that one of the things that people say is is you're equal, like this whole idea of that you're equal. Sure, yeah. And if you want to say equivalently valuable, I I would agree with that. But equal is not the same because I don't want to give you, I don't want what I give you. If I'm in a relationship, I'm not giving somebody what i want back in most cases so um i'm not expecting the same return yeah like on if, everything if, i do if, or everything i provide if if say for instance a, a young man says that i'm a pussy okay. i don't expect my wife to my wife to punch him in the mouth you know that's what i mean true. i don't yeah, I, yeah. that's not what i don't, it's I don't, not an equal expectation yeah, I i'm like did you hear that did yeah. you hear what he called me? Are you, I just mean, gonna, be, are you just gonna let that man come here and call me a pussy? <laughs> I think I, I actually I think I might like that if my girlfriend punched someone out. Fair enough, but for, it's not expected. No, it it's be, not an it be, It's not a relationship ender. Yeah, Let's yeah. put it that well, way. It, it is an erotic surprise, I will say. <laughs> But that, but I think erotic re- or neurotic, erotic, oh, erotic. erotic. Like, it would turn me on, right? But 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 I'm saying yeah. it is because it's not expected that it's erotic, right? Yeah, and yeah. I think there's compromise, like it's not to a compromise, prerequisite, and then yeah. there's compromising, which is compromising yourself, your so, integrity, so, yeah. self integrity, or your sense. But of I, self. but it's not equal. What I'm saying, it's not equal because different can never be equal. I, yeah, it's it's more of you're a member of a of a unit or a whole. And the two of you together create this one thing. And do, sure, but you do yeah. different things. Like thing. a tree we do, that grows. Right, right. But we yeah. do different things. And what I think is, I, I believe when men think of compromise, they think of, I'm, I'm right. I want, I got to do, I got to do what she wants me to do because. Every once in a while, I got to I got to suck it up. Suck it up and do. Not even every once in a while. It's like, I got to suck it up. And then we looked at the, the compromise. Look at the I'll look definition. up the definition. But what I thought, what I go, what we've, what we've done with compromise, it's like, all right, let's compromise. We'll do what you want if you just shut the fuck up <laughs> and, and we, stop telling me about it. Which is not a compromise. Me I am, I'm not a. That uh, I am I'm shit. Not, I am, I'm not worth shit because of whatever the fuck. It's just, but then I was like, I don't think that's it. And then we looked up the actual definition of compromise. Yeah, the definition of compromise. And agreement. Read. We got to do okay, it like read. the black Israelites. Black Israelites. Read. Okay. And an agreement. Have, uh, an agreement. Uh, Harry. Uh, Two verse two, uh, Luke two seven. twelve, <laughs> an agreement or settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions and ability. Stop yeah. concessions, yeah, <laughs> concessions, exactly. And the it's mutual concessions. Yeah, I, it's mutual. Yeah, I didn't realize that Pete that they're outside of New York and even in New York that the Black Israelites were not a well known thing. 
No. I didn't know that. They used to be bigger in New York, yeah. by the way. I think, I don't There's know a when. a couple of, well, Detroit, Chicago. Washington, D.C. D.C. Like any, that, that kid that. Any red line. Yeah. Places. Any red line. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're there in any red line situation. But what kid, you were saying something? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I just, I, I when my first, my first encounter with black Israelites was being a young kid going to the city for the first time oh, yeah. and being entertained by these wild like this this wild performance you know you, you know i i, I and then finding I get out it. that they're really serious about oh, what the, and i'm like oh yeah but oh, you guys are serious oh well, let's let's be honest let's go, you can go any religion and you go are you oh you really serious Did, oh yeah yeah you serious about shout this? out to ben yeah, shapiro yeah. yeah ben shapiro uh flat earthers black israelites they're all black really Israel, the catholics sure yeah Catholic, scientology is all baptists this. Mormons. We give a lot of shit to Scientology, but that's just the new kid on the block. I do like the hustle with the Mormons, how they rock. They they, they put the claws, the many wives in the claws in the jam. <laughs> you don't even have to have a game. <laughs> we create the environment that you can rock out with oh, the multiple wives. Uh, but you no, that's that's actually a, a minority in Mormon religion. The sister wives. Well, that's the one Dante's joining. Yeah, he didn't. He ain't signing up for no fucking bullshit Mormon. He ain't signing up to wear that that fucking shirt and tie and oh, not have those, multiple now, wives. I'm like, I can't get my dick sucked. Those I got are four the, wives. I can't get my dick sucked wives. once. Fuck out of here. Which one of you four wives going to suck how my you dick doing, tonight? How you doing, ladies? <laughs> Such you? a beautiful night tonight. Um, <laughs> This beautiful twilight. You all look so beautiful today. How many? Which one of you bitches is giving up some pussy? <laughs> oh, all of you? Let's all get married. You sister wives, you four sister you, wives is looking fine tonight. How you ladies tonight. looking so fine tonight on this beautiful evening? <laughs> <laughs> on the eve of... of uh... Which one of you bitches is fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... what a glorious dusk and evening, all you ladies out tonight. Just having a ladies night out. It's so looking mm. so beautiful. You all look so beautiful today. Mm. Just want to know, who's sucking dick? <laughs> Which one of you ladies is going to blow me under the Joseph Smith statue? <laughs> oh, my um, God. Smith um, so, anyway, we're back to the, the compromise conversation we were yeah. having for a second. Compromise? You didn't finish. Read? I, oh, I, did, I did actually finish. It was, it was finished. Read again? All right. An agreement or settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. An ability to listen to two sides in a dispute and devise... A compromise acceptable to both. That's the sentence. To again. both. To both, right. And that's What the do we problem. mean by both? The etymology of both oh. means you and me together. <laughs> both. We, we both have to win. And that's both with an F. It's not. Both. It's two both. Fs. B-O-F-F. Both. Which is more both intense. Both of us. Uh, as a verb, settle a dispute. B-O-F-F-E. Both. Both. Settle a dispute by mutual concession. M mutual concession. In the end, we compromise point, and defer. The point is the mutual. The, yeah. We forget the mutual. Moreover than not, dudes are under, they're under fire and related. Let me make these compromises. And then they're, the only compromise is that you don't, you stop being mad at me. Right. Is it you leave me alone? Could you stop, could you stop yeah. yelling at me and right. I will do what you want me to do? That's a hostage and then you situation. Shake hands. Dude. Yeah, it's not a compromise. That's but Al Qaeda, that's what, son. But that's what was, I guess, you know. And again, the other thing was the 50 50 partnership. Yeah. I mean, both parts are necessary. Like Matt was saying, both parts are necessary. You can't have one without the other, but we don't do the same role. Yeah. No, and I'm expecting. Nor no, do I want you to. Right. And I'm expected to do certain things, and that is my job. And that is, and 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 that job is defined. That job is defined by what your needs are. And I don't have a problem with that, but I want mine. I, I get mine. I, the compromises that we both get, we both we don't all, we don't both get it all, right? But we both get, and the intention and the things that are the things are, that are uh, write offs. I'll throw those in. I don't give this so much. I don't give a fuck about. What would be a write off for you? An example of a write off. I I went to the I went to the I had a really good time at the Lion King. Hmm. Um, I was treated to the Lion King dope situation, hmm. but I would have not went to the Lion King and just be been fine with it. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it was a dope experience. I mean, listen, the, and the I, Lion King's been around for 15 years. You haven't I'm got doing once. this because you want to go to the Lion King. Yeah. I don't well, have a problem. Here's the thing: with it, it was it was I wanting to, to wanting somebody wanting me to experience it, and I, and I'm glad I did it. I really enjoyed it, but I got it. I'm. I'm, I would have been good not. I mean, how do you think I know every episode of Sex in the City? It's because I've had sex Thank with you. women before. Yeah. Well, you. you know what's interesting, too, is the fact that I, I never I'm tired, of, this I'm tired on my of my own. girl calling me a pussy every yeah. time I happen to know a fact here or there. <laughs> you know, it's not right. You should have known that. Well, I do. I do. <laughs> sorry if I do. I'm sorry that you're a Samantha. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry once You're I'm not getting... a Carrie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if once I'm done uh, laying the pipe that they want to watch something on TV. I, you know, I don't give a shit what it is. You, it's, that's weird. And how... the story arcs are good. <laughs> Michael uh, Patrick King, he knows what he's doing. The man knows what he's doing story-wise. It's not my cup of tea. I would yeah. not watch it on my own, which is a lie. But yeah. I would not watch yeah. it on my own. <laughs> I haven't I just watched it. To, on... I yeah. just happened to, you know. I haven't watched it on my own. It just so happens every girl wants to watch it. That's fine. So I've seen every season. It's like pegging. <laughs> no, it's not like pegging. It's not, it is not, not like, like pegging. pegging at They're all. They're not going to do that. It no. is not like pegging. I am not. Uh, well, I'm going to veto this In one. the sense that the it's sense like how. it emasculates you. Uh, it doesn't. What? No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. It, it really it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> Having a show on in the background yeah. doesn't Listen, emasculate I have, me. I have been, I have been mm -hmm. looked at kind of funny because I have an amazing... A uh, Vergara impression. Sophia I've been, Vergara. I, yeah, yeah. I can, you, a, can you treat us to your famous your world? I thing? don't know why you would ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do my Vergara impression. <laughs> I wanted to People don't like it. <laughs> We should take her face and do a disembodied voice of you doing her voice and see if you people notice. See people notice. Why would you want to do that, man? <laughs> the level of commitment I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The level of commitment. Yeah. See, I the selling of the bit. I turned that on that dime for bang. Okay. So it how? The pivot. So how is uh pegging similar to watching the? <laughs> Anyway, it's, you're not it's almost the same thing. <laughs> it's really not, Sophia. It's really not. Um, one of those two things hurts. Yeah, one of those is significantly worse. The other one is just the program that's on while you're just scrolling through your they phone. They both make you look like a bitch. Okay, that's not true. That is not true, Sophia. One I don't... really makes you yeah, look like a one bitch. Really... One makes you a bitch. Yeah. The other I would one... be it's the same thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My goodness, I think it's a lot harder to, to do. Uh, a lot harder. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh boy. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, look, nothing is bloody after I watch Sex in the City. That's true. Right? That's true. That's, that's, I mean, that's a major wrong. difference. That's uh, a major. Unless difference. you're shoving the DVDs in your ass, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know, but. Uh, Unless so, you're getting pegged while watching, yeah. Well, that's, City, then is, then I can't argue that yeah, you're. Yeah, then I yeah, then I can't. Yeah. Argue. This is the second yeah. episode he's talking about pegging. This yeah. is crazy. Shout out to Joey Gay. Who told us, <laughs> was that on the regular episode? That might have been on the I Patreon. It was. I think it was on the Patreon. Joey wasn't getting know. pegged. I know Vigara did not like yeah. it. Who do so we talk about? Oh, Chloe was the one who was pegging dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pegging dudes, and then just calling you about it, which you were like, "Why she's do I so get cool?" I like how you doing? Oh, pegging dudes. She's so pegging dudes. I mean, like, you know what? what? If that's what being cool is, I guess yes. I'm not cool. I'm like, what's I'm a up, real... daddy <laughs> I'm a real square. I'm a real square. I'm one of those chumps and suckers. <laughs> yeah, I, guess, I guess so. I I'm guess I'm chump. not one of the cool kids. <laughs> if what's in is I'm, pegging God, people. I love her. <laughs> How you talking about Chloe? Ah, well, I'm pegging dudes now. I'm like, well, what? I'm, yeah, I didn't. You know what it was great? I didn't even. I didn't even. Like miss a beat. I'm, I'm like, uncomfortable oh. and intrigued. I was what like, are you talking I was, about. I, she was like, oh, just I started pegging dudes. So I was like, oh, that's nice. Like I didn't even break up. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna she make me. She had just buckle. adopted a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. What do you call it? <laughs> I'm pegging dudes, adopting kittens. Like, you don't know, have in my life. I remake. I reconnected with my birth parents, and I'm pegging dudes. So I was like, awesome. Oh no, that's a good one. <laughs> reconnected with my birth parents, adopted a kitten, pegging dudes. Mm. 
I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot for. That's my girl. That's a lot for the pandemic. That's how she handled the pandemic, by the way. Yeah, she came out she, pegging dudes. Most people out. picked up a hobby like woodworking. You know what? Because she's writing for that lady sketch sketch show, so I think it's mandatory. I think you got, she's got to peg. You, you can't write for that show unless you peg dudes. So, Jeez. listen, this is my job. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I don't but, give a fuck. But uh, sorry, getting back to that convo because this fucking the fifty fifty thing that we oh, were yeah. talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm man. sorry. I went way off. Jesus no, we did. Christ. It's all right. It's um, one of those yeah, shows. It's a, but the comp- compromise means both parties. And so if if you're just, if you're in the union, you would be called making, made you whole. Like, it's, it's you're just getting, could you just, can I have peace of mind? I will sure. do anything to get peace of mind. And, and that, the thing, the thing with that is it's a sign of weakness. And then once you show that weakness, it, it doesn't get better. It just gets worse. And I, I've said this a hundred times, and not just in relationships, but in business relationships, in friendships. When somebody's disrespectful, when does it ever get better? It never does. It ne- if somebody doesn't say anything, it doesn't. I mean, if you say something, it still might not get better. But if you don't say something, it will never get better. There's never a situation where I found somebody that was being disrespectful that I didn't check them. And then at some point in the time, they around. just turned around. And go, you know, I just been, I just been so disrespectful. Oh, <laughs> was no, not even connected. Oh, you're so high yeah. right now. <sighs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. You if someone the, is going to be disrespectful to you, right, just off the bat. There's no improving that. No, no. You're There's not no gonna, improving that. You're not going to. Not, not off the back. I mean, you know. When and not even, not even in a relationship. In any, like you said, business, friendship. Yeah. If someone is just going to outright better. disrespectful, like, don't it, be friends with that person. Yeah, it's Make no. better life choices. Stay yeah. at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 all comes, it, it all Fuck comes back people. to Matt being in yeah. the house. That's a lot. Of, I, f- I feel like that's a lot of your solutions, Matt. Just yeah. stay at home. It's a lot of like. Fuck the public. You don't need people. You know, like I think, I think, uh, I think the stock market's going down. Stay home. Stay at home. Stay home. Market, stay home. Fuck. What's wrong? Why are you investing in Bitcoin? It's a scam. Yeah, stay home. Like everything else, just stay home. Save your money. Buy a television. Don't buy Bitcoin. That I mean that. Really? Yeah. Why buy? Why not buy Bitcoin? It's it's, it's not real. No. Not neither real. is money. Yeah, neither is money. If you think about oh, it, I, I guess. Yeah. No. Neither is money. I'm. I'm I, well, then this isn't real. None of this is real. This is all a. Uh, we're all living in the matrix. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I was looking up my Bitcoin while you were speaking. I oh, really? Now that drove you to look up yeah, the Bitcoin part. Yeah, I was like, I haven't part. fucking looked at my Bitcoin. I was up high. I was going. Well, it keeps that, going. The thing keeps going up little by little. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I forgot. I put money into it a how much while did you ago. Put in? A grand or something? No, not, not a lot. Yeah. But it's, uh, <clears throat> I've certainly made more money. I think it's worth three grand now, but it's almost like too much to. It's not worth taking it out yet because, God forbid, it goes even higher. Then I'm a real feel like a yeah. That's you know what I was thinking about the other day. Anytime I was at a, on a job, you know when everybody chips in for for the mm-hmm. Powerball, yeah, and you don't want to, but you got it now because you don't want to be the only you don't person want to be they got to show up for work. while they're doing that. <laughs> they're doing that press conference with the big check and, and the, the hard hat. Idiot sitting there like. Ugh. Man, we pulled our money. We trusted one another. Yeah. We did this. We beat the system on our own. Everybody <laughs> else is going to Acapulco and you're fucking. Uh... Everyone except Dante. Yeah. Who was I'm, a who dick. Said, uh... Who was a dick to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Who didn't want to kick out $3. <laughs> $3. It just never looks good in hindsight. <laughs> oh, I got my $3. I kept my $3 and everybody else is go. in Acapulco. I'm the only person I'm changing the toilet rolls. Just oh, fucking You're the only one the on account. the work site, too. It's going to be a shitty Yeah, they're thing. sending you Instagram with, you know, holding up $3, you know. I used, I used to say that all the time. I don't want to be the dude who's just sitting there fucking. That's called fear of missing out. Yeah. Do you have any of that, Matt? No. Fear of missing out? No, no, not at all. Even staying at home, you're content. Uh, I mean, it's a lie to Stay say that home, you're not going to feel like you're missing out on things, mm. but. You know. Is your place at least nice? I hope it's nice. I hope it's, it's clean sweet. now. It wasn't. <laughs> it really, it wasn't at one point. <laughs> Not even. It wasn't. Oh, man. It is clean I'm... now. Like, uh, like I came out today. I'm doing a lot better. 
Okay, good, that. man. I'm, I'm glad yeah. that you're... Well, you're here, which is cool, because yeah, you could have yeah. just said no to yeah. this. I look like well, a... Why did you come out, Matt? What? Yeah. You I mean, asked. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it took. Nobody asked. Two years. I don't like very many people. Fair I enough. really don't. Yeah. Fair enough. You're right. I'm the same way, man. I'm not just going to go to someone's you know, podcast and say, oh, hi. Well, that's true. <laughs> I hope you don't go to any podcast. Yeah, just show up at people's yeah. podcast. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Just hey, you general. guys got a podcast going on? In yeah, here? Hey, uh, I'll say hi. Hello. Uh, hey, hi. Good to meet you, Mr. Rogan. Yeah. Uh, just hey, hi. Figure that. Hey, hi. hi. All right, that's all <laughs> I got. Mr. Rogan. No, no, no. Hey, Joe, what's going on, hey, man? Joe. Open up. Is this a garage? <laughs> Oh, shit, I can hear Billy Burr right now. You fucking maniac! Get the fuck out of here! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing here? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I mean, he does his podcast, like, in his car. So there is a chance if you... If you could you, run it. You could be on uh, uh, Bill Burr's it, podcast. That sure. he's recording. It's a lot it easier to get on than uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. <laughs> he was... I think I, one episode I listened to, he was driving through, like, a drive through Right. Or like he was talking to someone on the phone and he got like he got irritated with them. He's like, yeah, sorry. I, you know, I'm that's just trying every, to live my life. That's every phone right. call that's, that Bill, you've had with Bill. Burr. That's yeah. every phone call ever. He just gets a man. He gets curious. Takes it. A, right. How's your no, Bitcoin doing, good, Dante? Man. My is it? Bitcoin's right, good. Good. I put two grand in. You put two grand in it. All yeah. Right. My balance right now is uh, eight grand. Oh, geez. All right, I got to look Pump at and mine. dump, baby. Get that money. Buy televisions. <laughs> Invest in physical? You mean stock in television, or you just mean no, actual, no, no? Like you know, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Buy several television sets. You could buy it. Like look, look at look around. What you could do with eight grand? Anything. That's true. You could. I eight mean, grand. That's you insane. could buy another golden microphone. I could. You could that's do true. that. Yeah, I don't need one. I'll just sign it. And need then that you take one. that one thousand dollars and yeah. you turn it into another eight. Isn't that gambling more, though? I should buy some more fucking Bitcoin though. Oh boy. No, why you don't have we to wait? Why don't we wait until so you're, you you're not money. high, and you can make that decision instead of uh, taking all the money? Bitcoin is up forty, forty nine, fifty thousand, well, forty, forty nine thousand dollars a coin. Mm. Wait, now you got me wanting to check my Bitcoin. This is fascinating podcasting audio for the people. Ethereum by the way, Ethereum is thirty five dollars. We have given up on I'm giving out check life, my Twitter. life um, advice. Um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to invest in shit. I just okay. don't know shit. Yo, if I got so, any of my fans out there fucking... Oh, boy, maybe this is not the best way to get a financial no, advisor. So. <laughs> Tweet at me, son. I got some paper I need Yo. to put into some things. You don't want to get a... I want to make my money do more, you know, work for me. Yeah, I feel like somebody's get... going to call me up about two or three keys that he got yeah, yeah. in the basement. Yeah, I got a financial opportunity for you. I got that China white, yeah. son. <laughs> It's going for 32, 32 a biscuit. This is an investment opportunity bird, of a lifetime. You, you can get a bird for 32000 Just don't buy a boat. I heard that's bad. Yeah, it is. You never yeah, want to buy a nobody boat. Nobody wants a boat. Nah, I want to get a bird. You can get a bird for 30, a 30 bird? What's a bird? You don't know what a bird is? What do you mean is? by bird? Like an actual bird? A or? kilo. Oh, a kilo. Oh, yeah. No, uh, sorry, I'm not a bird was right I thought you meant like a toucan. A no. bird, yeah. I thought you wanted... To, don't act like it would be fucking crazy for you to get an exotic bird, Dante. It's specifically a toucan. Yeah. I can it, see... Yes, it would be crazy. It would not be crazy. You don't you think walking around crazy. with a toucan on your shoulder? I, yeah, I could see that. Oh, I'm just going to get a bird. You know that I don't want to fucking... I know you don't love animals. No. Who the fuck told you that? That you don't love taking care of animals. I don't love cleaning up dog shit. I am aware of that. But I love animals. I know you love. You, love, a, you love wearing you know, I was My original major in college uh -huh. was, uh, was veterinarian medicine. Yeah, but they kicked you out because you showed with, up with a fur lab coat. <laughs> You're the only person that had a fur lab coat. They go, you got to get out of here. I had a lynx. Uh, I had a lynx smock. <laughs> they were like, gotta get dog, the what, out of here. what are you doing? I don't think like, you defeated its own purpose. I mean, come on, dog. I mean, some some of them you fix and some of them you wear. We were, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's not like it's dog. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I'm not an animal. I, I can't believe you said I'm not a monster. I'm a fucking turtle downstairs. I know you do, but that right. wasn't your idea. No, it wasn't. Right. I, it wasn't your turtles idea. Anybody want a turtle, me? holler at me. Tweet at me. I got a full tank with a big ass turtle, and uh, and uh, y'all can have the turtle if you as is. <laughs> you could have the tank. Bong, it's got as, as is. It's got rocks, plants, 
and the water. There's no plants. Turtles be fucking so, up. All right. So if you if you want a turtle and or have any financial advice for Dante, Yo, hit him up on Instagram. Hit him, hit him on the gram and um, let's holler. You know, let's talk about it. <laughs> See what you got. What's going on? Well, with that, let's. Wrap I don't want to. I don't want to invest in nobody's clothing line, son. That's the, or record label. I'm not. I'm not going to do your independent or real label. estate scams. Nah, let's not do, get too hasty. Man. <laughs> I can't too hasty. You might do a. You'll do a pump and dump, a flip. A pump, yeah, flipping. Want to flip, flip some chip. houses? Yeah, flip a house. Why not? I'm. I, you know what? I want something where I want something I can make money like this. Like I made fucking six grand on this. Yeah, yeah. On Bitcoin. Just, well, there is the stock market. Do you not do any stocks at all? Nah, I mean stocks? I have a four one k and stuff, but yeah. I don't. I don't know enough about it to. To I guess uh, the idea is you're supposed to like I don't I can't imagine Shaq knows stocks, but what it is is you have somebody who knows. I want to get into the NFTs, bro. NFTs. Yeah, because it's new. So I don't feel like you know how like you know how like if you never seen Rocky Four right, right and you got to watch it now you like. Come on, you come out. Yo, I've seen this great movie. Like, mm-hmm. dog, really? Crypto. What the fuck is wrong with you? Abstract. <laughs> I don't. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the analogy is. I think it's you're like very. Non- it's like non-cause. I don't want to. I don't want to be. No, it's like, like I don't want to. You know how like everybody has watched the whole series on Netflix, and then you get the entire, caught. If yeah. somebody goes, it's really good, and then you got to go back. You got to start from the beginning. Series one is six series. You six seasons, oh, okay. and you're like, nah, I can't. NFT is really new, mm. so people are learning about. It. I, I like, I'll be right on the cusp. You know what I mean? Okay, you should start now. <laughs> like right now. Okay, that's like when you, I hear people go, they want to start a podcast now. Oh boy! Like Uh-oh. what? Now? No. Did you want to do a podcast now? I yeah, I want to. I want to interview comics. <laughs> oh, I just what? want to do a thing where we hang out. We comics just hang, we just out, hang out and, and uh, talk uh, shit. Um. It's like this, except you, with a microphone. Yeah. And and starting it now, yeah, when starting. nobody gives a fuck. Right. That would be like starting a fucking podcast. Mm. Anyway, let's shut it down. Let's shut it down. Join us over at Patreon. We might do a little bonus, guys. We're going to figure out. We got questions, out. right? We do. Uh, I think we do. Yeah, we'll get to, All right, let's more. do some questions. Uh, Matt, you want to plug something? No, nah, man. Just nah. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Stayinthehouse.com. Uh, man. Man. Uh, you plug. can follow me at on Twitter at uh, NFT that ass. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not kidding. Um oh wow. Go home. Go, dot com. Go Check home. out man on Go Home. Stay the fuck inside. Stay inside. Harry. Uh just go to all my social media at Harry Trajanian. Yeah, you know me. Google me, Dante. Y'all need a consultation, one on one consultation, Dante com. Click on consult. You can holler at me. Uh, the other thing is uh, follow us on the Patreon, man. It's really if y'all like what we're doing, uh, please support us, man. We can't keep doing it uh, if we don't have your support. And you know we work hard to bring this all together for y'all. G we G Y B B, get your balls back. W W D D, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all, man. Thanks for listening. So tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace. <laughs>